Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we can see the project title with the automated question and answering using semantic web services. Now I can explain you the abstract of this project. The rapid growth in the development of internet based information system increases the demand for natural language interfaces which are easy to set up and maintain. These papers have reviewed and compared three main question and answering approaches based on natural language processing, information retrieval and question templates, eliciting the differences and the context of application which best suits each of them will be processed in this paper. The main challenge is to understand the natural language question so that the solution could be matched to the respective answer in the database. One of the contribution of this paper is the outcome presented of a deployment of the system in a real environment. This is the data flow diagram of this project starting with the natural language query which are provided by the user to find the ontology mapping from the domain. Then we have to extract the features that are mapped with the query of the domain. Then we have to start our semantic web service discovery with the help of the extractive features. After this service discovery, we start with the category ranking which make use of this word tagging of provided query of the user. These word tagging will be further undergo with the two types of calculations called tag frequency and this tag weight. With the help of this evaluated tag frequency and the tag weight, we will generate a tag vector which is used to calculate the tag wise way that exists among this ontology domain. And then finally we will match the user natural language query with this category wise way to exact the extract the exact answers for this user to provide exact answers. Now I will explain you the demo of this project, uh, how it's going to be worked with. So starting from its title page, it just displays the title of this project. So after the clicking it, uh, we can select any one of the categories that exist in the ontology domain. So here I have selected DACA and uh, I can show you the uh, questions and its relevant answers that exist under this selected category. So just click this information um, engine button. Now I have to start entering the question among this uh, displayed question. So so this is the user entered the query. So after this entering of query, I will just remove all those uh, uh, articles and uh, ancillary verbs which is presented in this given user question. So after this process, I have to start extracting the features. So here I will just uh, extract the uh, categories that exist uh, on the ontology domain. So it uh, just started this processing. So here we get all those uh, categories and its uh, relevant features. Uh, so here I got all these categories and uh, all features of those displayed categories. Now after this process we have to extract these uh, service. So here once again I will select this darker category and uh, view those uh, categories here and we have to start displaying the semantic webs that exist under this DACA category. So from this we have to calculate our category wise ranking. Here I have displayed the user query and uh, we have to click this concept mapper. 
in order to map each of the words that present in this given query so using the dictionary and then we have to start evaluating the semantic patterns so that uh, to extract the questions target is uh, area and the question concept is cover so here we get this semantic pattern so using the semantic patterns we can just start over with the service discovery engine so after this we have to uh, start calculating the tag frequency for the extracted words of area under cover which can be set as a 1 and uh, using this frequency values we can generate its uh, topic wise weights so with the help of these two values I can generate the question vectors for this given uh, two words that is area and cover so using this uh, question vector I can start evaluating the similarity that exists under the each uh, category under so here I have generated the uh, category wise vectors which is compared with all other categories that exist uh, under the ontology domain right here so here I got the uh, area gets under with the DACA so it has been set to the one like this uh, the cover that exists under this DACA so it goes uh, values of 1 so now here we calculate the category wise way so the summation of these two similarity weights will be considered as a category weight as a whole so DACA has a value of 2 so through this category wise weight I'll just uh, reorder our category so which displays the DACA as its first category and then I will just extract the category under which I have to get an answer for the uh, provided question so finally I will just uh, obtain my answer for this how much area does DACA cover has its answer so it will goes on checking with the uh, questions of uh, DACA categories and then finally we obtained our uh, relevant result so that's it thank you for watching this video